Welcome! In this video, we will guide you through the disassembly, repair, and reassembly of Viking Pump's 32 series internal gear pump. This video covers the following Viking Pump models. Before you begin, please consult the appropriate technical service manual for safety information. A copy of the latest revision can be found on our website at vikingpump.com. Keep the pump and work area as clean as possible. Drain the pump of any residual liquid. Turning the shaft will help expel any liquid trapped in the gear teeth. Mark the head and casing before disassembly to ensure proper reassembly. Remove the head cap screws. Remove the head by tilting it backward to prevent the idler from falling off the idler pin. Remove and discard the head gasket. Next, remove the packing gland to expose the packing. Use a packing hook to take out the packing. The rotor and shaft assembly can now be removed from the pump. A soft-headed hammer may be needed to tap on the end of the shaft for removal. Take care when removing the rotor and shaft to avoid damaging the shaft or casing bushing. Remove the packing retainer washer. Inspect pump parts for wear, particularly critical parts such as the idler, idler pin, rotor and shaft, bushings, and casing. Replace any worn components. It is recommended not to reuse packing unless you have been instructed to do so by Viking Pump or your authorized Viking Pump distributor. Clean the rotor hub and casing bore. Make sure both are free of dirt or grit. Next, using an arbor press, remove the old casing bushing. Install the new bushing. Bushings with lubrication grooves should be installed at the groove at the 12 o'clock position. Carbon graphite bushings require extreme care to avoid breaking the bushing during installation. Use a lubricant and ensure the bushing is started straight. Press in the bushing in one continuous motion. Starting and stopping will crack the bushing. Next, lubricate the inner diameter of the casing bushing and the shaft. Slide the rotor shaft assembly into the casing. Place new head gaskets on the head. The proper amount of head gaskets must be used to provide the necessary end clearance for the pump. Consult the technical service manual for standard end clearance and the typical number of gaskets used on your pump size. Next, reinstall the head and idler gear, ensuring proper location of the pin and crescent. The idler pin, which is offset in the pump head, must be positioned toward the port connections and spaced an equal distance between them to allow proper flow of liquid through the pump. Tighten the head cap screws evenly. Use a feeler gauge to check the end clearance of the pump. If the end clearance is not correct, add or remove gaskets in order to get the proper end clearance. Repeat this process until proper clearance is achieved. Once correct, the pump should have no appreciable end play but still turn freely. Next, place the packing retainer washer over the shaft. Install the new packing. Lubricate the packing rings to aid with assembly. Alternate the packing ring joints from one side of the shaft to the other to make sure there is no direct leak path through the packing. A length of pipe will help seat each packing ring. Next, install the packing gland. Some pump sizes use a split packing gland that requires two clips. Slide the clips over the ends of the packing gland. Install the gland nuts. Do not over tighten. On startup of the pump, carefully tighten the gland to reduce leakage until the desired rate of leakage is obtained. A small amount of leakage during the break-in period is necessary to help lubricate and cool the packing. The maximum recommended adjustment at one time is one eighth of a turn. If during this period heating occurs, back off on the gland and allow the pump to run until the stuffing box cools, then begin readjustment. The pump should leak at least a few drops a minute to make sure the packing is adequately lubricated. Your Viking Pump 32 Series internal gear pump is fully repaired and ready to be put back into service. To learn more, visit our website at vikingpump.com.